The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, if you like fall weather today, basically a perfect day for you. We had a chilly start to the day, but that has been replaced now with mild afternoon temperatures and also enjoying lots of sunshine. You can see the bright blue skies overhead at Poor Mountain right now. This is our sky cam. We had our first frost of the season on Sunday morning and some of you seeing frost once again today. Lewisburg the low this morning, 29 degrees with fill 30. Blacksburg was close to the freezing point at 34. Roanoke Martinsville a little bit colder, but we were still in the upper 30s for the lows. The temperature is recovering by more than 20 degrees since those early morning lows. So we're back up to 61 in Roanoke, 64 in Lynchburg, as well as South Boston. A few places still holding on to the 50s, though, including Hillsville, Blacksburg, over into Lewisburg, Covington, as well as Lexington. I think most of us do end up getting into the 60s for our highs this afternoon. Here's your zone by zone forecast. Forecast for the NRV is about 65. The Highlands in Roanoke, the upper 60s, and we're looking at the low 70s for Lynchburg, as well as Southside. As we head into the evening, once the sun goes down, I wouldn't be surprised if the temperatures actually fall pretty quickly. We go from about 60 degrees at 7 o'clock all the way down into the low 50s by 10. We're going to keep clear skies overhead both for the evening as well as tonight. I don't think our lows overnight tonight are quite as cold as what we had Saturday night as well as last night, but it's still going to be chilly out there, so make sure you're dressing warmly. Our low in the New River Valley about 40 degrees. Roanoke, Lynchburg, Southside also in the 40s, and the Highlands potentially could get down into the upper 30s. As far as the temperatures are concerned on Tuesday, there's not going to be a big change compared to what we're going to have out there today. Maybe a few more places getting up into the low 70s and we keep the mostly sunny skies around as we head into tomorrow. So the next few days, uh, kind of the same trend, uh, chilly mornings followed by mild afternoons. We certainly don't have any rain in the forecast today as well as tomorrow. I think we're mainly dry Wednesday as well, but our next front is going to roll into the area by Thursday and that's going to send our best chance of rain in the forecast over the next seven days. So let's zoom things out, give you a look at that front. You can see where it's going to be located at 3 p.m. On Wednesday out ahead of the front. We are pretty warm on Wednesday afternoon with our highs in the 70s. Uh, once the front pushes into the area, you can see the green on the map indicating the possibility for some rain at the moment. The chance for rain at about 70% and this could be a pretty healthy rainmaker for us. This is a projection from one of our forecast models and you can see that it is uh, hinting at upwards of a half an inch of rain. Some places maybe even isolated higher amounts. We actually do need the rain because uh, the moisture certainly helps uh, the uh, foliage forecast, which of course I'll break down a little bit more more detail coming up in our next half hour. You can see where the front is going to be located at 3 p.m. on Thursday. It continues to push to the east as we go into Friday and Saturday. High pressure replaces it, which means the sunshine comes back to the area. And I do think there will be a little bit of a cool down with the temperatures. We're not going to be as cold as this past weekend, though, as we go into this coming weekend. So here's the next 24 hours for you. It is going to be mild this afternoon. Our high about 68, plenty of sunshine and keep the skies clear overnight tonight. It will be chilly overnight, but again, it won't be quite as cold as the last few nights are lows generally in the 40s. Here's your extended forecast, uh, kind of a wash, rinse, repeat forecast for Tuesday. A touch more cloud cover on Wednesday out ahead of that cold front and the wettest day of the week will be Thursday. 70% chance of rain there. Make sure you have the umbrella following the cold front. It looks like the sunshine returns, but it will be a little bit cooler by Friday and Saturday. Uh, really just not a whole lot to complain about with this forecast, Alyssa. You know, we have the one day of rain, yeah. but Overall, uh, the temperature's not too bad and plenty of sunshine. 